Leo, welcome to your January 2018 love reading. It's Raina here. So, a couple things. I have a 2018 love reading on Vimeo for your sign. It's an on-demand reading and it's for singles called New Year, New Love. And so the link will be below for that. If you're looking for the 2018 just general tarot reading, I have that on my channel, so check that out. And you're going to have in January, a, uh, you're going to be part of a lunar eclipse. So this is quite a year for Leo people. I, you know, obviously we're talking about coming from 2017 and having that solar eclipse. Now you're having a lunar eclipse in your sign at 11 degrees of Leo. And this is on January 31st and it's a blue moon because there's a there's a full moon on the first of the month too. There's only supposed to be two in one month or there usually are I should say. So that could be very interesting for you in terms of closure and maybe um, an old way of life kind of um, closing and, and maybe some of the uh, what do you call it, the loose, the loose, uh, what do they call it, loose ends, kind of being tied up or whatever, however that saying goes. There we go, <laughs> leaving. Okay, well, in the first place, we see several swords, and swords are connected to air signs. Okay, it's also connected to communication and things like that, but the air signs are Gemini, Libra, and <laughs> Aquarius. I was going to say Pisces, I don't know why. Um, and um, fire signs like Leo get along famously with air signs. You're both masculine signs. You're both approaching the world from a very independent point of view. And your opposite sign, Leo, is Aquarius. So it could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with. Now, based upon some of this, there may have been pain with this person if it's a literal Aquarius or Gemini or Libra, where it's like maybe you tried to make it work, but it couldn't. In some cases, there could be a th three parties involved and the other person is an earth sign because I do have some pentacles here. So we're talking about Taurus, which you tend to sometimes gravitate towards, Virgo, and Capricorn. And uh, so we have the number three, so we could be talking about like a three parties and, and kind of pain involved with that. This is the past position. This is feeling rejected. Feeling like somebody, you know, shoved you to the side. Maybe finding out that somebody had cheated on you. And feeling that, that sting. Also, the three of swords can be you cutting off something very abruptly with somebody because we do have for the theme of January um, the the six of swords which is leaving behind a situation that is very full of drama and sailing to p more peaceful shores so whoever you have been involved with this could be you leaving that situation. And this can actually be a literal relocation, physical relocation, moving. And uh, as I said, with the lunar eclipse on the last day of January in your sign, that could be signaling a period. Maybe it's not happening in January, but just this idea of wanting to leave, let's put it that way, of 
th realizing that things have changed and now it's time to kind of um, make things happen. For the current energy we have the Four of Pentacles and this is a very grounded type of um, influence. If we were just talking about this card not even going into love aspect of it, this is a card of financial uh, security and somebody who is able to really handle their money well. So in the case of any kind of leaving a relationship, you are well provided for. You don't have to, th that's not a concern of whether or not you're going to lose money in, in that or whether you won't be able to support yourself on your own. It's, it's almost like in some cases it's helping to keep your money for some reason. I don't know why that would be. Probably if, if you're with somebody who's very um, a spendthrift or something like that, then that can actually be a wise move to guarantee that you are um, taken care of financially because maybe the other person was going through your money somehow. And uh, let's just keep going here. But also, I just want to say that if you are involved with a different person, maybe you've met somebody, it could be, like I said, an earth sign or they have an earthy demeanor. This person offers you stability. You know, the Four of Pentacles is about stability. Typically, we think of it in terms of finances, but in this type of reading, we would say that this other person may be very stable. I mean, you know, like emotionally. And even, and by the way, with um, earth signs, they are, if, if this person has a lot of earth in them, they're not going to be flying off the handle. They're not full of drama. They are very, um, just very grounded and sensible about life. The higher message, the spiritual message is the seven of pentacles. Okay, so... In one sense, it could be saying, let things happen very naturally. Don't push things. Don't be impatient about something. The impatience could be connected to wanting to have like a relationship like you've had in the past. Maybe you are trying to uh, replicate something. If you were in a marriage that ended badly, if that three of uh, swords is talking about a very long-term relationship that ended badly you may want to just repeat it with somebody else and the seven of pentacles is saying no hold off just see how things go just take things as they come and be patient and see if they are what it looks like they are don't just assume and get involved in somebody because um you know, fire signs are tend to be a little bit impatient sometimes. They're very um, raring to go. They want things to happen. And unfortunately, I, well, I shouldn't say unfortunately, but life, when it comes to relationships, is not like that. You have to get to know people, and it's a process. It's not something you can just find out. It's amazing. You can be with somebody for a year, and it's like you're just scratching the surface. So just keep that in mind. Don't don't um, put the cart before the horse, you know. What crosses you is represented by the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune to me is a card of alignment, of, of things falling into place in, in this perfect way. Now, here's the deal. Because you have this lunar eclipse, and sometimes these things kind of show themselves, or you feel the effects before the actual date, which is the last day of January, it could be a time of great flux, a great change for the next six months or so. And it may be that having that relationship that you're looking for, it, it's there may be a lot of things that are changing in your life, you know, You've had a solar eclipse. That Those were new beginnings. Now you have this lunar eclipse, you know, major endings. And there may be a lot of fallout from all of these changes. 
that you still need to go through. And it could involve where you live. It could involve, you know, your job or something like that. And you have to be taking care of all these different areas of change. So if you find that you just don't have the ability to devote a lot of time to, to your love life, that's okay. It, it's not going anywhere. And if there's somebody special in your life that you really want to get to know better, but you just are so consumed with other things, with other matters, that likewise is okay. It's not, that person isn't going anywhere. And if the person is going somewhere and they're pressuring you to get involved, then you know that something is not right. Because um, when, when two people have found each other and they're just like, they know that that person is the right person, there is no such thing as time. There's no like, oh, you know, special, limited time offer. If you don't start, you know, hanging out with me every night, then I'm going to go to somebody else. Well, that that would never happen if the person was really, really, really into you. They would, you know, they would be patient and they would feel like you were worth the wait. So just, uh, I'm not saying, I'm just saying. And, uh, advice or what is coming in. I've been getting this card lately. This is the Six of Wands. I wouldn't be surprised if this is your card. This is taking your victory lap. Uh, a lot of times this could be career related. Something comes up. Let's see. I'm trying to see astrologically here what that could possibly be. Um, I can't think of it off the top of my head. But um, but yeah, I mean, you just might be uh, having a lot of um, accolades being given you. And very, like I said, uh, with that Four of Pentacles, I was even thinking that some of you may be having really good stuff happening uh, career-wise, work-wise. And so there might be a lot of irons in the fire, and that's wonderful because it means that your life is as successful in maybe not every single area but in a lot of areas and so um, this can give you this feeling of confidence too because you realize that you have a lot to offer with the three of swords you may have erroneously um, started thinking badly of yourself maybe somebody you felt like this uh, sense of rejection by someone and it made you question your self your worth. And at least when you're recognized by people in your career, um, that helps to let you know that you you do have things to offer the world and you can feel a lot better about yourself overall. And the outcome is the Ace of Swords, and I really like this this uh, Swords card because, first of all, it's an Ace, so it's automatically speaking about beginnings, but it's like cutting through all of the, um, in some cases, their lies or half-truths and the manipulation that may have happened and even your own uh, denial cutting through all of that and making you see what is really true for you, which is that you have certain things that you want to accomplish and in your love life that you, what you need and what you don't need in your life. And sometimes people just don't really um, deal with that. And this card is like new beginnings, uh, feelings of success. So these two cards are cards of success. But it's coming because you're having this moment of clarity where you're seeing things as they actually are. And there's a detachment with it, too. So you're not allowing your feelings to kind of get the best of you. Okay, Leo, well, that sounds great. So I hope that you enjoyed this. And um, I wish you all the best in the new year. Take care. Bye.